I'm Jake, you're watching Gas Guzzlers, and this is Porsche's first ever all-electric SUV, the 2024 Porsche Macan Electric. Let's talk about the exterior of the Macan. Of course, you can get your Porsche dynamic lighting system, but what I really want to talk about is aerodynamics. You have a fully sealed underbody and all the aerodynamic touches on the Macan Electric mean that it has a drag coefficient of just 0.25. For reference, you have a drag coefficient of one. The Macan EV is much more fuel efficient than you are. Something else that's kind of interesting about this is it doesn't look terrible. Lots of cars that are fully optimized for aerodynamics look terrible. And I'm not thinking of anyone in particular uh, other than the EQS and all Mercedes electric vehicles. Now, we do have a frunk here. Those of you who know me know I love frunks in an EV. That's why I'm so excited. And how you get to the frunk is so cool. Watch this. You hold the key in your hand and you just gracefully glide your hand along the front and it opens up just like that. Now, earlier I was just doing it completely wrong and my hand was sweaty, so the sensor I don't think was picking it up. Uh, please watch this clip of me failing to open the frunk for your viewing pleasure. You wave your hand over. Am I doing it right? Maybe I ain't, maybe I ain't tickle it right. Okay, Vincent's got the magic touch there. Let's give it one more try. So you start here, and you just swipe to the other edge. My hand is not capacitive like Vincent's magic touch, but it's gonna open for you. I really like to see a... That's how you open the front in the Macan at the side of the Macan Turbo. Lots of exciting stuff going on. Notice how short those front and rear overhangs are. By taking those wheels and pushing them out to the corners, you are going to get the best handling possible. All turbos are going to come with air suspension on them. And for the first time in the Macan, we have optional rear wheel steering. So that's gonna make your turning radius much tighter uh, by turning the rear wheels in the opposite direction of the front wheels at low speeds or at high speeds, it's gonna increase stability by turning the rear wheel in the same direction as the front wheels. I'm gonna be honest, I don't love how the rear end of the Macan Electric looks, which is a shame because a lot of people are gonna be seeing this rear end given how fast the Macan Electric Turbo is. We do have a deployable rear spoiler right here, but this isn't just about speed, it's about practicality. We have 19 cubic feet of space here, 47 cubic feet if you put all the seats down. It's a 40-20-40 split, so you do kind of have a ski pass-through. We love to see that. And since the turbo has the air suspension, we can just hit a button to drop the rear or to raise it to make it easier to put in cargo. Now, if you have too much cargo to fit in here, what are you gonna do? You're gonna get a trailer, right? Porsche has you covered. Guess how much towing capacity is that? I was shocked. 4,400 pounds of towing capacity from an electric Macan. I don't know what number I expected, but it certainly was lower than 4,400 pounds. Let's talk power. The turbo is going to be putting down 477 kilowatts of power, 833 pound-feet of torque. That is going to launch you from zero to 100 kilometers an hour or zero to 62 miles per hour in 3.5 three seconds. That is absolutely insane. And the grip is going to be able to find where it needs to go because we have a locking differential in the rear and we also have Porsche torque vectoring. Now the Macan 4 and the Macan Turbo come with all wheel drive, but what's powering that? There's a 100 kilowatt hour battery pack. You can use 270 kilowatt DC fast charging to get from 10 to 80% charge in say 21 minutes. Now, when it comes to range, the models that don't have all wheel drive, you're looking at about 380 miles of range with all wheel drive, 367 miles of range. Do note that those range numbers are from the WLPT test. They are not the EPA test numbers, which tend to be a little more realistic and a little bit smaller. Now on the interior of the Macan, we are sitting lower in this electrified model than the previous Macan, about an inch lower. Uh, you do feel like you're high up and this is a pretty squished windshield. Feels pretty sporty. Visibility, of course, tends to be compromised with that. The bolstering on these seats really is incredible. I mean, you could throw this thing around. You really do feel like you can do that with 
confidence. You have a 12.6 inch curved display right here for your digital gauge cluster. And then I, as a passenger, have a screen in front of me in addition to the regular infotainment screen right here. There is ambient lighting throughout here. You can choose all sorts of colors and whatnot. But what I find particularly cool is how the ambient lighting is not just used as decoration, but rather it's used to communicate information from the car to you, such as information about charging status or about driver assistance features in use check this out we do have different drive modes and this is what i was talking about with the ambient lighting when i change drive modes you'll see it does a little dance how cool is that so in sport plus sport normal and off-road how cool is that now we need to talk about this heads up display porsche says it is the equivalent to an 87 inch screen projected out onto the road ahead of you and boy does it change the driving game my previous favorite heads up display was in the lexus rx350 but it has been toppled big time just look how large and crisp this display is it truly overlays onto the road when you're in the driver's seat i highly suggest you get to a porsche dealership so that you can check it out the heads up display truly ties everything together. As you can see here, we have the sport chrono functions running here on the track, but it also has many more real world applications, right? You can project navigation turn by turn directions onto the road ahead of you. You can see the distance indicator between you and the car in front of you when using the semi autonomous driving features. There is just so much to this heads up display. It truly is class leading. Now, in the rear of the Macan, you have plenty of legroom. The ambient lighting continues back here. It's extremely tasteful. In the center, we do have pull-out cubbies. We have our air vents here. Tri-zone climate control standard. You can upgrade to quad-zone climate control, so every single person gets their own climate control. You have plenty of bolstering back here, and then you have individual controls for the climate right back here and heated outboard seats. Our digital gauge cluster is split into thirds and it's controlled using this system right here. So you can see on the left, we have some of our vehicle information. We can get a traditional speedometer, G-forces, tire pressures, and battery charge. If we move over to the right, this is probably my favorite part. We can bring up a map. So there's our driver assistance features. If I scroll one more, there is a map so we don't have to take our eyes off the road. Let's go up to the speed. And then again, to our right is some of our timers and our phone information. So there can see we can get our sport chrono clock up our radio some of our battery information and our phone information there and we do have our classic porsche clock right there here's a quick look at your porsche infotainment system as you can see we have our maps and we can go here to our full app store let's check out the car and see what we can see okay we have our ambient lighting systems right here can switch to all of your regular trip information, your driver assistance. Here we can individually change how our suspension is, how that air suspension is working. The electronic sport sound is kind of cool. So when you accelerate, Porsche will pipe in kind of a fun spaceship sound. I like that. And then of course we can raise and lower the spoiler and we have our driver assistance functions. Just look at how snappy this screen is. I really like how they have laid out their infotainment system here. Very clean. Now almost all of that same information can be projected here in front of your passenger so if you want to take them for a ride and show them how many g-forces you're throwing around you can push this button and bring that information up how cool is that jeep does this ferrari does this but not many other brands do this now i do want to talk about the infotainment because there's something special about the macan electric the macan electric moved to an android based operating system for the infotainment what's the difference well all the other porsche vehicles right now use a linux based operating system moving to the android system means that there are going to be apps that you can download to your porsche uh, for example there's a web browser you can download and then watch netflix on and hopefully in the future there will be a netflix app that you can download to this now you can also connect bluetooth devices to the car so in theory you could connect an xbox controller hook up xbox cloud gaming or something like that and game on your Porsche Macan. Can the Porsche Macan run Doom? Well, yes it can. It has an upgrade computer cluster and processor in here. This thing has a lot of computing power. So that is the electric Macan. I came into this a bit of a skeptic, worried Porsche was just jumping on the EV SUV craze. I can pretty confidently say that the Macan was deserving of an EV platform. It was deserving of this attention and it is good for Porsche to be moving in this direction with 
the Macan. I think this is gonna be wicked fast. I'm looking forward to driving one later this year, so make sure you like and subscribe. Guys, thanks so much for watching. I'm Jake, you're watching Gas Guzzlers, and this is the 2024 Porsche Macan Turbo Electric. We'll see you in next week's video. Take care.